reason of this call is IRS filing a lawsuit against you. To get more information about this case file call immediately on our department number 347 298 9256. I repeat 347 so guys, uh, Scott here, and I got a call saying that the IRS is filing a suit against me. Um, I'm going to let you guys hear the voice message. So uh, give me a moment. Here we go. Internal Revenue Service. The reason of this call is IRS filing a lawsuit against you. To get more information about this case, file call immediately. Okay, so that is the message I got which you know of course got me thinking um I always heard that they don't ever leave voice messages saying that kind of stuff so I went online here and I'm gonna play a clip of a few scam uh, voice messages people have got and it's the same exact lady or fake lady um that I just got a call from. So take a good listen, guys. So this is from uh, consumer.ftc.gov, and it's the blog is called It's the IRS or Is It? Um, here at FTC, we think about scams all day long, um, but scammers find FTD staff, blah, 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 and in fact, someone claiming to work for the IRS called my house last week. So, let me play it so you guys can hear it. To reach you. This call is officially a final notice from IRS. Internal Revenue Services. The reason of this call is to inform you that IRS is filing lawsuit against you. To get more info. So, and that's the same exact uh, lady in voice. So, um, person posted the blog and they asked some questions. Uh, this has all the signs of an IRS imposter scam. In fact, the IRS won't call out of the blue to ask for any payment. The IRS won't demand a specific form of payment. And the IRS will not leave a message saying to sue you or or anything related to that if you don't pay right away um then it goes on to say report it to the ftc and t-i-g-t-a include the phone number it came from along with any details which i'm going to do uh so yeah scrolling down here just looking at all the comments and stuff um it's just so in interesting I'm not going to call the number back or even deal with it because, you know, whatever. There's a lot of comments under this person's blog saying they got the same phone call, uh, same lady, same force, and a lot and a lot of these people are saying, I received two calls and messages. I called the IRS and asked about this lady, and they said it's a scam. Pretty much every single person has reported the same thing. And everybody has called the IRS and it's a scam. The lady's a scammer. So, uh, yeah, definitely going to file this and report this. And, yeah, so take care, guys. So, guys, all right, I did some more digging and um, I researched the number and it's by YMAX. Um... Let me get the official full name. So I use True True Caller, and the mobile number is YMAX Communications Corporation, New York. Um, so I also searched that on Google, and I searched that on the IRS website. And what has come up with is just pretty much everybody saying automated messages. And the biggest thing I keep coming up is the IRS sends out letters in the mail or contacts you in person ne they never leave any automated messages so i want this message to get out to everybody share this video guys um so other people know i mean i don't answer my phone to be quite honest 
unless I know the number. And I don't really, uh, really engage with any, any calls that I get that people leave messages. But so when I got this message, which just so happened to be after we got our taxes done, um, my first thought was, wait, what? And then I was like, okay, Scott, how many times do I get calls from all kinds of numbers and I don't answer? So I decided, you know what? I'm going to dig into details. So people are pissed. It looks like once they call you, they don't stop calling you. Um, this one person said within 24 hours, I was called four times when they couldn't reach me. They called my grandson who was under 18 and said that he's going to jail if they don't pay. Um, let's see. There's another, another message board. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, it's just under federal trade commission. Um, there's more and more stuff on this, the same thing. Uh, let's see. Okay. So under the consumer ftc.gov and under the IRS website, this is what it says. Scammers often call you, but when the IRS contacts people about unpaid taxes or other issues, they do it by postal mail, not by phone. Um, let's see. So they rig, they can rig your caller ID, uh, send fake emails, make a second call claiming to be the police or motor department if you don't return their first call. Um, never provide. So this is what the IRS says: never provide any details, hang up the phone, and never call the number back. Never wire money. Obviously, if you owe or think you owe federal taxes, call the IRS at 800-829-1040. IRS workers can help you and see if you really do owe any money. Um, forward emails from the IRS. Don't open any attachments or anything or any emails. File a complaint with ftc.gov slash complaint. Include IRS telephone scam in your complaint. So again, that's what I'm working on doing. Um, the biggest thing I see looks like the number that they called me about. Oh, wow. It looks like there's a lot of people that got fooled. Like one guy said, I may not get my $214 back, but here's the name of the person and everything. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've gone through hundreds of comments. I mean, hundreds. So I can go to the last page. I think it would be the most recent one. And uh, it's just hopefully, I mean, there's, I know there's a lot of people out there that fall for this stuff, but do your research. Don't give the people any time of your day because you're just helping them out. Okay. So just two days ago, Okay, here we go. And two days ago, just got a call from YMAX telling me I was about to be arrested. Um, here's another person. Uh, yeah, so. So guys, uh, do your research. If you, if you ever get a bunch of calls from a number or a same number or the first couple letters are the same and then the last are diff different, uh, do your research, guys. Use True Caller app or another phone um, app that helps you determine if it's spam or not. Look it up. Look up the information. Please, guys, do not call these people back. Don't do it. As the IRS says on their website, they do not leave automated messages. So if you get an automated message, that's just... That's the biggest red flag right there, and you know it's a scam. You'll get a letter in the mail. And again, if you get a letter in the mail, you can't just 100% assume that that's legit either because 
you know, scammers do send fake letters. So getting the IRS number and calling them personally and speaking to them yourself is the best thing to do. So take care, guys.